Hi guys, Richard here. As part of our 3D Basics series, we're going to have a look at the 180 degree stall turn today. We'll go through how to perform this maneuver with the most common definition. We'll talk about how you need to change them in windy conditions. And we'll finish with some variations and changes in orientation. Let's get going. So the most common definition of the stall turn is you start with straight and level entry flight. You do a quarter loop and you pull up vertically. And once the model has stopped, you can then initiate your tail turn. 180 degrees, come down on the straight, same line, quarter loop, same line, and then out on the same line that you entered. So there are two different variations of this. The second one is you can actually start your tail turn before you get to the top, and then you complete it on the way down again. So before we go and fly this maneuver, one tip I'm gonna give you is that as you're initiating your quarter loop, you're gonna do it with collective, not with elevator. If you do it with elevator, what tends to happen is the model will slow down and you won't get as much lift and as much height out of it. If you start with collective, you start that upward inertia, that model will get super, super high and you'll get lovely big stall turns. Let's go and fly. Okay, so we're gonna do some regular stall turns first. You wanna establish a nice straight and level flight. And then where you start the stall turn, you're gonna start with collective first. So collective, then elevator, nice and vertical, let it stop, and then do the rotation, and out. And we'll do the same this way, collective, up, nice and vertical, rotate, and down. So those are the two standard variations, uh, sorry, those are the left and the right of the standard variation. So now we'll do the one where we start the rotation before we reach the top. So straight and level, collective, elevator, and rotate. And out, and the same on this side. Okay, and that's it for the standard version. Okay, so next we're gonna do the paused version. Same again, straight and level. Nice and big. As it reaches the top, we go 90 and down. And the same on this side. the three-pointer or four-pointer. 45, 90, 45, and down. Forty-five, ninety, down. So this time we're going to do some stall turn reversals. up, we're going to turn 90 degrees towards the flight line, and then we're going to turn back and come out, stand again this side, 90 degrees, 270, now, and let's just do it the other way as well, so 90 degrees away from the flight line, 270 towards, degrees away from the flight line, 270, and out. So we've done forward stall turns. Now for all orientations, we're gonna do a backwards one. Rotate. Same on this side. Rotate. And if we've done backwards, we'll have to do sideways as well. So now we'll do traveling left. 
or helicopter lift. Rotate away from the flight line. Rotate away from the flight line. If you've done left, you're right. Away. And you'll notice this way the model's a lot quieter because it's, um, the tail doesn't have to work as hard. That's it, both, so, both the side. Done all the upright orientations. Uh, we'll do the inverted. A nice straight line. Pull up. Right. Same again. We've done forwards inverted, we'll do backwards inverted. Okay, and because I've got the wind in the face, I'm actually having to lean the model over. Sideways. Yeah, so I'm actually leaning the model over before I pull up into the stall turn. That's it, all orientation, stall turns. So a compound manoeuvre is just when you link manoeuvres. So we can do that with stall turns as well. You complete a normal stall turn. You come out and then we do a full roll. Nice and centred. Stall turn on that side. come out and we can go into a loop and you want to do that directly in front of yourself. Nice and big, nice and round. And do another stall turn. This is just fun, a fun exercise and you're getting, you're learning to do stall turns all the time. So half roll into an inverted stall turn. And then on the way down, we're going to do another half roll, and then out. And then we can do a candle style maneuver. We'll go up, come up backwards inverted, into a stall turn, another half roll. Yeah, and that's it. So compound manoeuvres, I really enjoy them because you can just link some of your favourite manoeuvres together and you keep them nice and simple in the middle and uh, they look good, I think. In a scenario where there's a very strong wind and you're going to do your stall turn into wind, you're going to have to change slightly. So what we're going to do is not use as much elevator and we're going to get lots of height with the collective before we turn the model vertical. So we'll do this one a little bit in front of us. So add collective, now pull the elevator, get it going straight up, and I'll have to use the negative to hold it. Do the rotation, and pull out. Okay. And holding the negative is actually pretty difficult. I remember that being quite difficult when I started doing these. So you go up, and you've actually got to hold that negative, rotate, and out. So downwind, because the model is going to be traveling so fast, 
you're actually going to use more elevator and lots of collectors. But you want to hit that elevator slightly early as well. And you're going to have to hold positive at the top. Yeah, so when you're doing the downwind one, because you've got so much speed and your collective is going to be, have less effect, you don't want to overshoot. You want to use a little bit of elevator, lots of collective. Keep that positive pitch to keep it in line and then come out. And that's it for upwind and downwind. So we had a look at a few versions of the 180 degree stall turn in this video. As part of our series on 3D basics, there are some other stall turns and some more advanced maneuvers that we'll be covering in future, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time.